Can I use YouTube ads to get in front of people who are going to my competitors' websites? Not really, but kinda. And in this video, I'm going to show you how. Hi, my name is Nicholas Ayers, the founder of Major League Video Marketing, and this is video number six of our six-part video series on the six videos that every business owner can run on YouTube ads. And in today's episode, we're going to talk about custom affinity audiences and how they work, how they don't work, and what you need to be careful of. A lot of people will use custom affinity audiences and they'll do it thinking that they can use these to show videos and ads to people that go to their competitors' websites. So as an example, they're a life insurance agent. They sell a lot of different life insurance companies and products, but they want to use YouTube ads to get in front of people who are maybe visiting NewYorkLife.com and getting quotes. They think that if they run a custom affinity audience, and because it says URL targeting, that they can do that. And that's kind of right. Let me explain how this actually works, because there's a lot of people who will tell you that this works this way. but if you actually look at what Google says, Google says it's only based on the topics and interests of those websites. So if someone's visiting NewYorkLife.com and maybe they're visiting another life insurance uh, company website and another life insurance company and they're looking for things, Google thinks that they have an interest in that topic. They have an interest in life insurance. And so you can't target them just by them going to that website, but you can target them because Google segments them into a custom affinity or otherwise known as a custom interest type of audience and you can put your ad in front of that audience. Now, custom affinity audiences can be really powerful, but left unchecked, they can also ruin your budget. So you have to be careful because this is a very broad type of targeting. It's probably the most broad that there is, that if you aren't careful with the script that you use and you aren't careful with your budget, you're gonna spend a lot of money on the wrong type of people. So I wanna show you how you can create custom affinity audiences and what you should be looking out for when doing so. So within the Google Ads dashboard, you're gonna click on the wrench, which is tools and settings, and you're gonna to go to audience manager. You're gonna go over to custom audiences, and you're gonna click on the blue circle with a plus, and you're gonna click on custom affinity. You're gonna give this a name. Let's say we're wanting to target people who are into, uh, maybe let's talk, let's talk about people who are into fashion or apparel. So maybe people who are looking at uh, different products when it comes to shoes. So we're going to click on interest here. We're going to change this to URL. You can use interest as well, but URL is going to be how we're targeting this specifically. So let's type in some different URLs for some different fashion brands. I'm going to do uh, www.nike.com. Um, I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to do www.adidas.com. I'm going to hit enter. And I'm going to do www dot reebok.com and I'm going to hit enter and uh, you're going to have those in there then I'm going to hit uh, get estimate here you'd want to have at least five but we're going to hit get estimate after we've put in our country as the United States and also our preference for English as a language after we've chosen our language, we're gonna hit video, and then we're gonna select get estimate. It's gonna tell us what it is, and this is where it's powerful. This is why it's not necessarily the website, but it's the interest and the topics. So Google will analyze it and it'll say, okay, these are the website topics. Is this what you meant? And so it's really important that you have that in there. So this is very broadly gonna target people who are athletic shoes, apparel, athletic apparel, footwear, shopping. And so if you have a fashion brand, you can use YouTube ads to get in front of people who have these interests based on the topics of the websites that they're going to. It even says top website topics above there. So uh, this is really powerful. So you want to have as many in there. You want to really make sure your URLs are very refined, that they're similar because you want these similar things. You know, shopping down there below at number five isn't really too similar. So you need to be careful by doing that. So three to five websites, if you have seven, eight, as many as you can that are very relevant to whatever it is that you're doing so that you can get these topics where they need to be. Just like with custom intent audiences, it's important that you put as many relevant items in that list. So 
you have to really make sure that these websites are all similar, that they're all focused on the same thing, that this is where your prospect or customer is going. Custom affinity audiences are great for people who are trying to get in front of an audience in a B2C fashion or even B2B for that matter, and maybe their product is a little bit more fringe or niche. Here's a good example. Let's say you sell Medicare insurance. Well, you can go to the Medicare websites that you're, you know your customers are shopping on. So if they're shopping for Medicare, you don't want to necessarily do the ones that other insurance agents are going to, but you want to think like a consumer. Where are they going? And that's how Google is going to be able to segment them into an interest audience that is relevant to your product or service to get your ad in front of them. Now, here's the thing with custom affinity audiences. Unlike any other type of targeting, this audience, this type of targeting will spend your budget like no other. You can say $10 a day, $20 a day, $50, you can say $1,000 a day. Google is going to spend that money and it's going to spend it fast. And so you have to watch your metrics, watch your numbers. And if you start to see certain trends, maybe you'll know that I need to work on my script or I need to work on my landing page. I need to do a better job up front kicking people out of the ad that don't, it doesn't resonate with. It doesn't, it doesn't fit with. So if I'm selling Medicare, I want to talk to people who are at a certain age. I want to tell them this is perfect for anybody in this age range. It's perfect for anybody looking for this or who qualifies for this. You need to really do a good job of mitigating your ad spend costs by being almost uh, you, you need to you need to discriminate in your script and get the wrong people out of your audience because Google will will think nothing of spending your entire budget and more really quick. So custom affinity audiences don't allow you to target website viewers of a specific website. They allow you to target people based on the interest that they're showing by going to those websites. Again, this is video number six of a six part series. I've put all of the previous videos down in the link below. I encourage you to watch those videos, study them, ask questions by writing in the comments. I'd love to help you out and answer whatever questions I have. These videos are meant to help educate you and bring you along so that you understand YouTube ads in a way that's comfortable for you, that is that makes sense for you and that you feel like you can actually implement, that you can take action on these. If you like this content, do me a huge favor, hit the subscribe button, subscribe to the channel, like this video, like our other videos down in the description, watch those, get educated on how this works, leave a comment, let us know. We look forward to helping you grow your brand, grow your business, and grow your bottom line with YouTube ads. We'll see you on the next video.